Hello everyone, Chris Tisdale here, back for another Beginner's Guide to Calculus video. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to look at derivatives of parametric curves. And this is at a very fundamental introductory level. Okay, so I'm going to talk about uh, what a parametric curve um, is, and then we're going to look at how we might take the derivative and we'll do an example as well okay so the big motivation behind parametric curves is that they provide an alternative to your standard y equals f of x model so um, if i was just to draw a little picture here the the classic kind of y equals f of x model would your graph would look something like that right and in the parametric form you can do all sorts of things so you might be able to model things that double back on themselves like this okay where you couldn't use this to to describe this situation okay now you can see that the sun is streaming through my window i hope it's not too annoying do tell me if it's too annoying um but, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you should be able to, to follow uh, the text and things. Okay, so we are going to find out how to compute the derivative of a parametric curve. Okay, so essentially um, the parametric curve and equations have these kind of elements, right? So we're working in two dimensions here. And um, the set of points associated with with this kind of ordered double forms what's known as a parameterized curve. So it might be something like that, for example. That's okay. And depending on what values of t you have, the the that's how much of the, the curve, it sort of controls how much of the curve um, is being described. So in this case, the the t is known as a parameter. Parameter. Okay, so it's kind of like a, a variable for x and y to work with. Okay, and then it, we go on to say the derivative is computed via this um, division here. So you've kind of got dy dx is dy dt over dx dt. So um, I'll give you an idea of where that comes from. It's just the chain rule, and I've done lots of videos on that the chain rule basically says that okay i can write dy dt as the product of two other derivatives so you can write it as dy dx times dx dt and thinking of these like fractions you can cover up that you get dy dt and then all you do to make dy dx the subject is pull this and divide under here okay and you get this Okay, so that's a, a very informal justification of, of that. All right, so this will help us compute equations of tangent lines, etc. But let me just, just quickly um, think of another way of describing this using vectors. Now, if you are familiar with vectors, you might um, know that, okay, well, I could actually um, write these in the following form. Okay, so you've kind of got your little i vector and your j vector, and um, they lie along the x and y, well, they're parallel axes, and they have unit length 1. And this vector r takes you to points on the curve. So you might have something like this, right? Again, this is just a simple demonstration. What R takes you is from the origin to the curve for some value of t. Okay. Now, this so this is like a vector function, and you can differentiate this just by differentiating the components, right? So, if I wanted to talk about the derivative of this vector function, 
uh, the derivative is also a vector. All you do is you differentiate each part of the vector with respect to t. So two kinds of derivatives here. Here we've got dy dx up here, the simpler case, and down here we've kind of got a vector derivative. The example that I'm going to show you is going to involve this thing. Okay. Oh, this thing. <laughs> All right. So let me um, uh, give you an example. Okay. All right. So the example is as follows. We've got a parametric curve described by these two equations. We're asked to compute dy dx and hence determine the, not the tangent line, the tangent line, the, tang the equation of the tangent line. I keep leaving out that second n in these notes. Uh, so let's do this first and then we will use that. Okay, so to compute dy dx, we can use this formula here. All right, so um, let's go through and do that. So, dx dt, let's compute this. So, t squared will become 2t, t will become 1. If I compute, uh, d compute the derivatives of this, then I will get 1 and 0 there. Okay, so using our little formula, it's dy dt all over dx dt. The top part will be 1, the bottom part will be 2t plus 1. Okay? So there we have a um, derivative in terms of t. Now, um, do you want to put that in terms of x and y? Well, in this case you can because if you wanted to, you could make t the subject there and then plug it in here. Okay? So if I actually wanted to make this in terms of x and y, I could go a little bit further. It's going to be 1 over, so you can see here, t equals, can you see that? y plus 1. So if I wanted to get this in terms of x and y, I would just put that in there. I'll get 2y plus 2 plus 1, which is 3. Okay? Let me just check that. To, uh, yep, okay, great. All right, so the next part of the question asks you to... Oh, actually, let me pause. Kevin, Kevin who? Hello, I'm just reading the top chat. Hi, Kevin, let me reply to you. Great to see you. Thanks for, the, for your comment, and thanks for tuning in. Now, um, the next part is to determine the equation of the tangent line at this point. Okay, so we're going to use the uh, equation for a tangent line. Let's work out what is the derivative at this point. Well, this is going to be 1, if I plug in y equals negative 1, I'm going to get 1 over negative 2 plus 3. So this is just 1. Now, if I, if I didn't know, if I didn't actually put that down and I just used this, I would have to solve uh, this by plugging in y equals 0, and I'll get, I'll get t equals 1. Sorry, by plugging in y equals negative 1, and I'll get t equals 0. Okay? All right, so at 0, negative 1 we have dy dx, so that goes in there. We get one. All right, so let's do the equation of a tangent line. Okay, so it's one of those 
y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. But we know that the slope is the derivative. So by this I mean I've got the derivative and I'm evaluating it at this point. So for us, x1 is 0, y1 is negative 1. So let's put these in. This comes down here and I can finish my question. So that is 1 and that is 0. So it's going to be um, y, let me push that up, equals x minus 1. So this is the equation of our tangent line. Okay. All right, so let's just recap. We were given the points for this, the equations for the points of this parameterized curve. We computed dy dt using our little formula. You could leave it in terms of t. I decided to put it back in terms of x and y if I could. And then I, for the tangent line, work out the derivative at the point in question and use the standard equation. Okay? All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. A good question here is, with this uh, situation, if we consider this as a vector function, what would be the derivatives? Well, let me let me just write something down there, right? If we, we could consider this as a vector function like this, it'd be t squared plus t i plus t minus one bracket j, the derivative, which is also a vector, would be 2t plus 1 times i plus uh, 1 times j. So you differentiate each of these with respect to t. Okay, so here you get a vector, all right? Different from what we're doing up here, but still important. All right, guys, thanks very much. I'll follow up with another video in due course. Thanks, guys. Bye.